So I was browsing through the Minecraft wiki when I noticed a command I had never seen before, slash play animation. I booted up Minecraft to test it out and see what it did, only to realize that it didn't actually exist. So what command did I read? Well, I looked back at the wiki and noticed that this command was exclusive to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So I reinstalled Bedrock, created a new world, made a list of animations to try out, and what happened next was absolutely... Well, let me just show you. The purpose of this command is to test animations on entities. So for example, if I touch this, here's me doing some sort of bedrock emote. Here's me being very surprised. Ooh. And here's me <laughs> dabbing. <laughs> But what makes this command so interesting is that you can use any animation from any entity. So here we have a piglin celebration hunt. If you don't know, piglins can dance sometimes when they kill hoglins. And uh, it looks like this. I actually found a list of some of the funniest animations from Element X on YouTube. And the first one here is hoglin baby scaling. So let's give it a test. Um, what is happening to my head? I'm a balloon. Look at this guy. His hair is like a new neck. I can see inside the frog. I can't tell if this is weird or gross. Just normal Minecraft. Don't look over here. And we're only one command into this list. But before we continue, let's thank today's sponsor. War Thunder is a free online multiplayer combat game on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Mac where players fight across a myriad of militaristic ground, air, and naval vessels. War Thunder recently got their new massive danger zone update that brought the legendary F-14 aircraft and napalm to the game, just like in the movie Top Gun. War Thunder has vehicles from the beginning of the 20th century all the way to modern times, with each one having its own unique feel and control. In War Thunder, you can actually control multiple types of vehicles in a single game session, meaning you can have your helicopters follow your ground units from above the clouds. Alongside battle, War Thunder also offers unique gameplay objectives such as tank, football, races, and futuristic camouflage battles. Every single vehicle in War Thunder can be customized and upgraded including adding camouflages and decals. Download War Thunder for free in the description. All new players who haven't played in the past six months or more will receive 500,000 Silver Lions, a week of renting legendary German ground vehicles, three permanent premium vehicles, XP boosters, a week of premium, and other bonuses. Big thanks to War Thunder for making this video possible. Now let's get back to the video. Here we have humanoid sneaking, which should just... Wait, what? What? I thought this was going to be just like the sneaking animation. Are we not a humanoid? What is this? This doesn't seem to affect the animals at all. It's only me. What's wrong with me? This is Chicken General V1.0. Oh, I'm Naruto? And something I did learn about this command is that if I summon a zombie and then use this, he's just swimming around. Here we have Creeper Swelling, which I think will just make us really wide. Um, n what? How is that? How is this Creeper Swelling? I'm just gonna grow some fish in this pond real quick. Here we have a new one I found on the wiki, which is the Warden's Emerge animation, which should be pretty interesting. Wait, is it working? <gasps> okay, so my legs are still there and then I just submerge. Oh, that's kind of cool. Rise, my creations, rise. This one should make us upside down. Um, what? <laughs> Sideways? I'm all running, I'm upside down. What is this? This is not upside down. Why is it only affecting me? Here is the sleeping animation, which should be interesting when, yep, when you're not sleeping. I'm the flop of fish. Wait, my head's backwards. Wait, this I should be like this. <laughs> Here we go. Who said you needed a car to drift? Okay, this one's probably one of the strangest ones. I really like this. Let me do some sit-ups. <laughs> And this one is called Wolf Sitting, which, um, oh, I thought I was just in the ground. I'm just little legs. Do -do -do -do. Look at me go. Hello. Next up is the bat flying animation. What is happening? Look at this wacky guy. I like him. Look at him go. Hello, sheep. How are you doing today? The chicken just has a floating head. Oh, he's twerking. Oh, our horse over here. He's, ha he's having a great meal. He loves the grass. He's doing the Naruto run. Let's just summon some salmon right here just to see, see what they do in the water. What it, wait, why is he big? Why is there a really big one? Wait a second. Did they change size in this game? Wait, well, I don't know what's happening, but the, uh, the salmon are weird. Let's get a puffy boy. Summon puffy boy. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, he's just kind of, he's just kind of having his, he's just kind of doing his thing. Look at him go. Oh, oh, in first person, I'm dancing. I'm vibing. Look at me go. I don't, I don't think. I don't think my body's supposed to do, I don't, um, um, help. But this one's supposed to be really good. So let's see what happens. Oh, I'm not quite sure what's happening here. I look fine in first person, but then I, I zoom out the camera and I'm huge. Okay, I made a command block that should set me back to normal. So if I click this, whoop, 
Hello. <laughs> There's so many things we can do with just changing size. This is crazy. But this command does not only work on me. It works on everything in the game. <laughs> so if we make a new command block here that is repeating, um, how do I do this in Bedrock? We can change this so that instead of affecting only us, it affects all mobs of a certain type. So let's try Minecraft horse. There were some of those around here. So let's turn this on and oh my, <laughs> he looks kind of normal actually. He's just really big. Why did I look so weird and he looks so normal? What happened? Oh, that's a big pony. Changes from horse to cow. Oh no, he is such a tiny head look at him they have big legs only the head is small now theoretically this should work with any entity in the game so let's summon let's see how do i scroll this list here yeah let's try an armor stand oh my he's very large here let's summon him floating okay it's not how you do it in bedrock i don't know how armor stands work in bedrock so we're just gonna make barriers summon armor stand <laughs> Why does the plate stay small? This is such an inconsistent command. Oh, it looks like the animation stopped. They're all normal now. Why am I so big? Wait a second. Look at my puffer fish. He's massive. I didn't realize I was holding him. How big is he? He's got to be like the size of a block, right? Let me stand on this. He, that's massive. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at me go. I'm so good at paddling. Oh, so there's something called the evocation fang. How do I get this? Evocation fang. There we go. And it's this little, this little, biter guy a little munchy worm man and so we can hook up spawning them to this command block where the funny little worm jumps out let's put the button on this side so we can see it but what if we change this to make that guy really big oh this is gonna look like the sarlacc pit from star wars okay here we go did it not work? I spelled it right. The command works. It's just you can't change that one. That's so sad. While we're here, we may as well swap it for a lever just to see whatever this monstrosity. This will instantly kill you. There's no way this doesn't. You know what? Maybe we should try it. Ow. 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 Okay, don't touch that. All right, guys. Wait, what? Wait, I took damage and I shrunk? Wait, why am I slightly smaller? Wait, I was going to record the next... What? what happened? When did this happen? Well, as I was going to say, I uh, I changed the, the entity a little bit. Are these big? Are these normal? I can't tell. Um, oops. Actually, if I spawn a ton of these, how high would they launch me? All right, guys, let's try it. Whatever this is. Oh no! <laughs> well, at least I look normal-ish. I'm slightly, I'm slightly buff. I have a, I have a baggy sweatshirt on. Where are we going down or up? Hello? Okay, we're going down. We're going down. That's good. All right, guys, you're not ready for this one. <laughs> big frog. Hello, big frog. Oh, he croaks. He has the big croak and he waddles. Oh, I love him. He jumps so high, even though he doesn't have back legs. Wait, I can slash summon NPC. I can just summon a guy. Who is this? Okay, well, we're making him big. NPC. All right. Oh, no. What's this I see? A wandering llamas. Trader llama. Just big blocks of wool. Where's the... I can't even see the villager. Look at the tiny snoot. Boop. Something really cool is coming up. But before we get to it, you two could be sitting you my videos every single day but you could still not be subscribed so if you could double check it help me out quite a bit oh wait phantoms could be a good idea because i think you can actually scale them normally let's see if i spawn this it should just be a really yeah it's just a massive phantom look at that oh this would be horrible to fight oh that's so big but now we gotta try a puffer fish oh he's so big i love him we gotta spawn him in the water we can't have them dying look at this guy oh i love him look at him he's bigger than the normal salmon when he's tiny He's massive. I'm not sure if this is more or less scary. Honestly, I think I'm less afraid of this than a normal creeper. He just got big toes. But assuming this works on any entity in the game, I have one thing I want to try real quick. Let's change this from creeper to arrow. Let me get a bow here. I hate this menu. All right. So if we shoot at this cow, was that big? Wait a second. Oh, that's so big. Look at this arrow. <laughs> Oh no, that's terrifying. That's a scary arrow. This is vanilla Minecraft. What is it happening? Well, I tried to set up a uh, rapid fire clock for this dispenser, but uh, it's too fast for bedrock edition. So we'll slow this down. Okay, there we go. There's a slower one that works. Let's get some arrows just like this. Look at this. It looks so slow because they're so big. Oh, you can really see the range of like how inaccurate it is. What if we change this from 100 to, oh, I can't see what I'm typing, to negative 100. Does that change anything? Does that affect it? Oh, oh, what? I think I broke it. it. What is happening? What is this? Is it just negative 100? What if I just do like negative five? Is that fine? Is 
100 too much. No. Anything negative completely breaks it. Well, I'm not too sure what I expected, but um, this is new. I just had such an awful idea. What if we change this from player to just every entity in the game? A possible seizure warning, maybe? I guess there's not that many entities. What if I just change this from negative five to positive five? Is everything just slightly bigger than it should be? Oh no, those are massive. Oh, look at our trader. Oh no. I know what we need to do. We need to go to zero. What happens? Zero. Oh, okay. It just flies again all right minecraft's pretty weird if you like this video well first of all thank you but second of all you should check out this video next